What up, YouTube? Have a massive Com C order here. Uh, I just opened the box freehand to kind of make the video go quicker. It's over 100 cards from. I've done other orders from them. They typically always do a pretty good job packaging. Um, but ordered this in January, and they're just now coming back in. This one's pretty light. And I did the economy. Oh, this one's really heavy. Um, I did the economy shipping. So they're supposed to be here in April. So I was hoping to ship most of these or uh, submit most of these, but that didn't work out. Um, looks like there's just a couple. Oh, I, I bought. I think two graded cards. So this is probably my order, and this is the graded cards that I ordered. I always do uh, top loaders. They're 25 cents. I think it's just worth the money because I'm planning on submitting most of all of these. Um, but it's very, very interesting to me to see what I ordered uh, essentially six months ago at this time. And... Because I continue to evolve in the hobby, as I'm sure anyone does, because I'm in it pretty much daily. Uh, so this was really fun. I entered all these cards into my database last night. I track uh, everything that I've bought and the price that I've paid for it. So that I know and I know everything that I have and everything that I've the price I paid for it. So, a little sneak peek, and you guys get to see the top cards. Um, it'll be fun with the my PSA orders that start to come back too, is to kind of see this kind of Jesse ten months ago. Um, So you can see, uh, thankfully, I haven't done much prospecting, and I've focused on Hall of Famers. We'll start here. I splashed into baseball because I thought maybe it just wasn't getting, people weren't paying enough attention to it. But then I just found out that it, it really just, um, I only have so many attention units. And I, I felt like it took away from my expertise and the potential my success and, and to a certain level of enjoyment. It just felt taxing to try to uh, Griffey, Red Prism. Um, if I remember the prices, most of everything I paid under 10 bucks, most stuff was two, three bucks. Um, Elijah Wan, this is Stadium Club, I think. It looks like, oh, this is cool. So they, they didn't used to do this. Um, but it's, it's an acetate card. I knew nothing of this set. And this is when I was collecting. Um, so it was very cool uh, to see. I paid like a dollar, maybe two bucks for these. Um, okay, moving on. LeBron, I think this might be, yeah, it's a rookie, it was a cheap rookie, it was like two, three bucks, um, I don't know LeBron market really well, Julius Irving, this looks pretty crispy, I'm saying just off the centering, um, a lot of times the 78s have a lot of snowing or what people call flaking right here. So this could easily be a 7, 8, or I don't know, maybe a 9. Uh, I got into these provisions for a while. Really cool. Reminded me about them. Uh, I think they're underrated. I might pick up a couple more of different years. I just really like them. Another provision. Parish. Uh, 78. So this is his second year card. 77. His rookie is just now starting to take hold because I think enough people are grading it that 
there can kind of be a following. These corners look a little rough, so this is probably a, I'm going to guess a five or a six. Dirk, uh, Flair, feel good about that. Iverson, second year. Um, Iverson numbered out of 299, so uh, 2006 SBX. One of the last quarterly specials that PSA did was swing in 60s. So I was trying to get enough cards to do it. I did it, but these took so long I had to find other cards. Ooh, this has got a horrible crease in it. Yeah, see that? That was not picked up on the scan. Something like this that's not picked up on the scan. Because um, I think I paid decent money for this. Eight, nine bucks. It's got another bad crease over here. I would return it. Even though it's ten bucks, ten bucks is it's still that's decent money to me. Um none of the clear cuts, Reggie, Rayon, Bomb Raiders, the Jordans are cool in this set. Duncan Rookie, Flare Showcase. I like the showcase cards. It's just the base. This is row three. So sometimes Row 2 isn't as rare or Row 3. Row 2 is a little more rare in this year. Um, thought these were cool. Um, 97, second year card. So probably a little ahead of the curve. This could be 2, 3, 4, 5 years down the road. Another showcase. 81, Jervin, or Gervin, however you want to say that. Pretty good centering on that one. Uh, I think I was thinking a little too hard here. I'm a big Kareem fan. So that's the Prism Silver. Nice card. I, I wish it said how much I paid for him here. But I entered everything last night, so I have a, a rough idea. Um, Randy Johnson Finest. Cool card. For a while, I was picking up a decent amount of Randy Johnson's. I've pretty much gotten out of baseball completely now. It's just too much to Dan Eisel. I think he's a little underrated. A lot of his stats are ABA. You include his ABA stats and he's in the top twenty. Um, so if that ever changes, I could see a big pop. 74 set is always, they're super sensitive cards. This is what, 88? This is the only bummer with Com C. I can't capture it on, yeah, see that? That's jacked. It's not great worthy. Um, and some of the scans just don't capture that. So that's a loss there. Um, 88 Fleer All-Star. The Jordans have just gone, they've gone from, for an 8, like 85 bucks to close to 170, 180. So they've doubled, more than doubled in less than a year. Uh, the Magics are cool in this set. So I think this set has potential. Um, timing on grading on some of these. Uh, the EX entry cards are cool. Big time believer long term. I had never seen these, and this looks like the uh, oh, the camera just does not do a good job. They look a lot like the uh, hot numbers, so they're called. It's a really popular set. It's escaping me. So I picked up that. It was two or three bucks. EX cards, uh, believer long term. I typically don't show cards before, like I send them off to grading, but um, I think it's, these have been so long that um, I've moved on, or I, I'm still picking up some of the, this similar stuff, but not all of it as I've started to change. 
97 Iverson, second year. Uh, I collect Ray Allen, cool card. I forget what year. Uh, 1999. Uh, clear cuts, player showcase. Driven. I really like the 78 of his. It just looks a, it's like a similar pose to his rookie card, the 74, I believe. Um, so I wouldn't mind. I've been trying to find decent copies of these so I can submit them. Clear cut. You saw that Iverson. Um, this is a pretty good copy of this just from looking at the front, the previews. Skybox, I forget. These were like one per box. Um, and they don't go for crazy money. Kobe's got one. Most of the rookies from 96 have one. I think they're a little underrated in price. Just because people don't know how rare they are. Maybe it's the look of the card. I don't know. Bird. We talked about that. Prism. Not sure what I was thinking there. Oh, try hard is what I would call on that card. On my part. Whoops. Cream. Uh, this is... 73, I believe, yeah. 72, his first year is Kareem and not Lula Sender. And, and this card, to me, is a little underrated because Spider's well. Um, hasn't picked up Steam yet. I mean, raw, these are still 10 bucks, 15. So I think that would just take a while. The 72 has gotten hot, so I think this is next. 74 Oscar Robertson must have just been a pretty good deal. I believe in him long term. As you can see, I pick up I'm mostly a Hall of Famer guy here. Uh, Irving, I just think it's a cool pose. And this is the 77 or 79 set. 79. Um, Iverson numbered, but really high number. Try hard there. Provision card. Like these, I'm cool with PC and um, Johnson. That's the Pacific cool card. No. Um, these are more short print than I think people realize. If you look at the Jordan pop numbers versus the All Star card, um, just a big difference in the pop. Maybe it's the view, and these are a lot harder to to get a tub top grade in like a Jordan 7 commands pretty good money so I think the bird and the magic in my opinion sevens are a little underpriced uh, might be try hard but it was a cheap risk I think it's like a dollar two dollar card talked about that one um, metal universe I think these inserts are underrated I paid good money for this a pack of them goes for like Eight, ten bucks now. A box is over three hundred easily. Um, and then just the odds I'm pulling one of these is I think those were one per box. Um, so feel free to comment. Uh, what you agree with me picking up and what I mean not agree with me picking up. Like I said, if I was to do this over again I wouldn't probably pick up some stuff, but um, I'm glad to see that I've kind of stuck with the Hall of Fame trend. These are sick cards. They're, depending on the year, 97 and 96. It, yeah, that's... You don't think that much about them online, on eBay, but then you get one of these bad boys in hand, and you're like, effing cool card. I got uh, some of Ray Allen. I got some of Michael Jordan. Um, row one for 97. I'm picking these up I because I love the cards and I think they're pretty cheap for what they are. This is like five, six bucks. Not cheap, but Johnson, same set. Centering, you got to watch top and bottom sides. Um, 
the stuff to get. We talked about that. Garnet materials. I don't know if this is numbered. No, out of 99. I wouldn't call that a bad pick up. Pick up. Not the coolest card, but long term. Akeem, this was. I think Akeem's a little undervalued. I would just take some time for people submitting cards so people can kind of collect them. Classic card. That's pretty cheap. Three, four bucks. Parish. Second year. Um, his rookie card is, is like an okay look. I'm not a big fan of the 77 cards. Um, so I'd rather have his 78. Ionix. I've opened a box of these uh, on my channel. Feel free to check it out. Um, I'm picking these up. I have probably 10 of these. I, I don't know how many I have submitted right now. This is the base. And then the kinetics insert. Um, kind of has a refractor. I think these are going to get... They've already started to get hot. I mean... From me picking these up a year ago, it's one of those cards that it's not even down in this market. They've doubled, tripled. Uh, there's Michael, Kobe, Dirk is in this. Uh, the Hot Rookies. Uh, one out of nine packs, but it's a big set. It's like 15 cards or something like that. So some of these are tough pulls. And these boxes now are 400 plus. Uh, so yeah, huge fan of these cards. I'm a, a stronghold, or I'm, I'm buying. If I can find them at the right price, I... There's some on eBay you can go pick up right now, but... Those, obviously, I think are a little overpriced. Um, LeBron, I don't know his market really well, so I don't buy much of it. Uh, I was not a air that I was really watching basketball. This is 19. Cool card, but maybe a little try hard there. Stadium club, decent space. Pierce, I collect Pierce. Here's another one of those real ones. Sick card. 90, oh, yeah, 98. So they bounce it around a little bit, but they have them for baseball, bats, ball, and football. But the years might bounce around. This is a little different. Bomb Raiders, um, 97. These were under, the, these are like 80 cents. I picked them up. Uh, this is his, I don't think it's a row. Yeah, it is a row one. Okay, yeah. They don't hit pops. I wish, I really, really, really wish it, this is of him pitching, but it's of him batting, which is a huge bummer. Um, 78 Parish. We're probably close to halfway. Insert. Um, I don't know if you guys saw that. That's all my opinion on that. Julius Irving, uh, I collect him. Garnett Materials, I said gets not much love. Number down to 99. I think some of the, the lower numbered stuff will pick up. This one looked pretty centered. Uh, it's definitely off left to right. Just from what I can see through the top order, I'd call that a seven. Does have a div in the card, so that might be a six. Sick Randy. I think the '90s baseball. It's just going to take another year or two until people learn the market and start spinning cards. More of the, of the iconic, pretty good centering, which is hard to find on '79. I believe in these cards. I believe this is the biorhythm, which I don't know much about. Yeah. So that was probably a little try hard.
Bigger brilliance. I like this Bomb Raiders better. I have a Jordan in an 8. It's that same row 1. Talked about the EX. Bird. Penny status. I really like the look of these. This is being corner. Probably an 8. I wouldn't submit it. LeBron. Cheap base. $100. The Keen Blue. It's a little tougher to pull. Blast furnace. You look at the. Uh, I paid forty bucks. To be honest, honest, I overpaid for it. Uh, but I just looked at the insert rate and it's ridiculous. But you can pick up PS nines of these for thirty four bucks, which I think is a steal long term. I think people are gonna learn this set. They've learned it hardcore and basketball and the inserts from this set have become huge cards uh, so I, I mean I wish I'd been picking up nines I, I looked up what they've been selling recently and I was like man there's been three or four that sold at like 33 35 I would have bought all those for that price just put in 40 and let it ride and if I got um, but seen that I guess saw that these are just cool cards. I think that's why I picked them up, and they're cheap. And with some flair. I'm not sure what I was thinking there. We talked about that. This is much cooler year. What is this year? Uh, 97. He's actually pitching. Swing sixties. This one's pretty good. No major creases or whatever. I think they do a fantastic job on packaging. I mean, and I get that people are griping on the times, but Everson out of 149, not the coolest batch, but uh, the 72 set has, has gotten hotter. Good pick up Jesse. Six months ago, Jesse. Talk about the insert for Stadium Club. Oh, this card is jacked. <laughs> I don't know how I don't see this on. Or maybe I did. But I don't have any 61s. Um, I believe I paid like 15 bucks for this. And I don't know anything about Walter Dukes. It says poor. So, I mean, they were honest about that. Because it is definitely poor. But cool to see a 61 card and actually have one. Miniatures. I've seen these graded really tough and then some graded okay. Or. 75%. Try to pick up the pace since you're going to see more cards that I've out of like 3,000. These are like hit and miss if they sell well. Uh, those LeBrons, which looks pretty cool. 74 set, which is hypersensitive. Um, the EX cards. These are really hot. 96. I've picked up a decent amount of football. Um, I probably have 10 for Aikman. Um, haven't sent them for grading. I have them ready to be graded, but just not quite sent off. I probably won't until the eight, we get some sort of value pricing. Cole Iverson. And I'm cool sitting on this raw for quite a while until things the boat rights in the right direction. Everything you haven't seen, not too much shine on that, but number card out of a thousand. Cool card, but I think you have to get that in the hand of somebody to get them to pay decent money. These were like four bucks. Cool. Uh, Hollow FX. 99. I think you can still get packs of this for 
on eBay for not crazy. I thought about buying packs, but never pulled the trigger. Artist Gilmore, uh, rookie is 72. This is 74. Hall of Famer, um, another ABA person that I think gets cheated just because most of their stats don't count. So I think, I don't know when they're going to change that rule or ever, if they ever will. You know my thoughts. I picked up some of the Stocktons too. Um, fan of these. These are sick cards too. I don't know what the pull rate is. This is 77. This is that year I'm not crazy about. I know vintage basketball, okay. 69 through 79. Probably better than the average Joe, but not great. Typically see a lot of snowing right here on this card. And then what you'll also see is like smudging here. Um, so this is a actually a really good copy of this card. Uh, it's off top to bottom, but um, just looking through the case, I would say that as a shot at a six or a seven. Talked about these. I'm long on them. I'm buying them. Pull card. Saw that. Another prism. Dirk. I'm a fan. Biorhythm. Two more little baggies. Locked in, Aikman, Hall of Famer, I'm big on these cards, the Hall of Fags, Player Showcase, I'm a fan of, this is actually pretty good, so I can try to educate you guys here, a lot of times you'll see like a split here, and on some of them you'll see it like over here, um, but I still see them not the main thing on these cards that you can't see until you get out the top loader is a lot of just surface scratching. But they're much cooler in hand. Uh, this is row two, I believe. Yep. Typically eBay, you're gonna pay probably eight, 10, 12 bucks for it. If you're doing auctions, by now it's probably 20. Damn it, you know, I don't know if we've seen one of those. I don't know. This is an insert. So I can see it being worth, but I've just changed my mind on these. I just, I'm not picking these up now. I just don't like the look of them. Wilt, I think people will eventually find this to be iconic with the two greatest centers of the time. And one baggie left. Moses Malone, his scoring total is ridiculous. Uh, probably card price wise, one of the most underrated. His rookies definitely caught on, but I think that's because of Gary V. Cool card, but I don't know if I would pick this up again. Clear cuts, Iverson, we saw that. And another one with the snowing or marks down here uh running corners but so quite the pickup um i spent about 900 bucks plus top orders so is that close to a grand but this was multiple this is like three of my orders that they put together so i think they are catching up if you guys have stuff there uh be patient i think the big Plug coming through the hobby. I'm novice, still haven't been in it for a year, but to me, this is a good sign that everyone's working through it. It means you'll be able to send cards in, they'll process them. Um, so I think in six months, uh, we're going to be in a really good spot in the hobby. Let me know you, what you think of the video, uh, maybe your favorite card or your least favorite card, or tell me where I was an idiot or brilliant. Thanks, everyone. Uh, please give a like and a thumbs up, and feel free to subscribe. I definitely have some PSA orders rolling here. I just had another one um, 
what do they call it, where they start to grade it. So yeah, it, it seems like it's moving, um, and I'll have every something every two to three weeks, uh, fifty to hundred cards. So I should have something here in two to three weeks. Later.